All right, I'm going out here to the studio, and this is, uh, we've had super, super cold weather, down to zero degrees or below, and snow, and I've got a furnace over here in my studio, and it's kind of gone out, so I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, I'm out in the uh, studio checking my furnace, and I've got a solid yellow light on. This is my Bryant. A heater. This is out in the studio. It's worked very good. Now it's gotten super super cold here this last uh, week and the heater has been trying to keep up with the load of how cold it was and I've got my uh, studio insulated but probably not as good as I should have. So anyway I'm pretty sure what's happened is that the gas valve has uh, what is it got a high limit or high something anyway anyway I'm pretty sure it's stuck so I'm gonna be changing this out high fire or whatever it is on here on this uh, gas valve uh, stuck and when you get a yellow light like this you can't I beat on it a while to try to unstick it didn't work so I just ordered the new one I ordered this on Amazon and of course I matched the part number on right here got it on Amazon made sure it was the right one I paid a hundred I think a hundred eight dollars for it on Amazon I found it at another spot for I think it was sixty six dollars and I thought okay and it didn't have me didn't have the quite the same information to make sure that it was the right valve so I thought, okay, I can get the $66 one or the $108 one. And if uh, I get the $66 one from some company that I don't know who they were, maybe it's the right one, maybe it's the wrong one. Then I have to send it back and get the right one or whatever. So I, instead of gambling and trying to save, what, $40? I went ahead and bought one from Amazon because I know if it wasn't right, I could send it back. So you may want to think about that as you order them. So it just depends. If you feel confident on the $66 one, go ahead and get it. But anyway, so I'm getting ready to take this apart. I'm going to show you right here is my gas line. I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to disconnect this uh, solid half inch pipe right here from the main valve. And then I'm going to take out, uh, there's two screws right here. So I can pull the whole burner assembly out. And once I get it out on the back side is where this hooks on. I can disconnect it, rehook up the new one. And so I'm going to step through it a little bit here and show you what I'm doing. First off, uh, I'm going to unplug it or you can turn it off. In my case, I didn't put a switch. I just, I just plugged it in over here. So I'm unplugging the unit. So I have no power now. So I'm, make sure you turn off your power. And then, of course, I'm going to go out and turn my gas off. It's right outside the outside of my building here, so in my workshop. So anyway, I'll turn the gas off, and then I'll disconnect this and take this loose. And I'll kind of show you as we step through it. This should take uh, probably not more than... Uh, I'm going to guess 30 minutes to uh, replace this thing, so it's not that big a deal. So anyway, let me stop and uh, go turn the gas off. Okay, I've turned the gas off. I've got this uh, half-inch pipe removed here. I took this out right here. Hope you, let me see if I can get a little more light on there. I took that out, so that's off. Pull this out. Just leave it sitting right there. I've got my gas line over here. So anyway, so now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take these two wires off. This is the blue down at the bottom. I got uh, two wires right here. So we're just going to move those up and out of the way. Uh, so move them up and out of, my, out of the way. We'll just set them up there so they'll be out of the way. Now. And this is the ground screw right here. So we're going to take that uh, 
this off. When we get this off, this will let this whole burner assembly come out and the gas valve. So there's only two wires on the onto the gas valve, so we're in good shape. And it's on right now, so I'll turn it off so it doesn't matter. I'm going to take this apart in a minute so we can look and see what happened uh, to the inside of it. Let's let me let me get a couple more tools right here and take this off, and then we'll get to it. Okay, I just got these two screws out of here, and I'm going to show you how easy this thing is to take out. You just pull this out, pull it out like that, and you got the whole unit out. So you got the burner assembly, there's the jets for the, the flame to come out. All we have to do is break this loose and put the new gas valve on. So I'm going to take this over here and... Uh, on my workbench so I can break it loose and we'll put the new uh, assembly, the new gas valve on, the one that's right here over here in the box. So let me do that and then I'll show it to you here in just a sec. Here's a little thing that I, I, I did when I was taking this loose. I sprayed some uh, WD-40 in here first and then I put my crescent wrench right here and I took this board I put a board in here. I was going to use a pipe wrench on here, but I thought, man, that's just a thin tubing. I don't want to uh, dig into that or collapse it or anything like that. So I, I said, I'm just going to take a board right here to use this as the leverage point. So I held this here, and then I took my other hand, and I, I twisted this around this way. So I put this here. And then you know, I'm looking at it from the top here, which would be from your view right there. Uh, so I'm looking at it right there. And of course we're going to go counterclockwise, so I have my wrench here. And then I took this board and I just I pushed right here, pushed down. So I'm going to, I'm going to, this, this is the best way to do it when I'm trying to show you. But anyway, it broke loose right here because it was straight. I marked it also. Look here. I marked it with a little white line right here to where it was so that I'd know exactly kind of the, the direction to, to put it back on. So you may want to do that. So anyway, let me go ahead and take it loose and I finish un unscrewing it and then we'll put it on to the new one. But anyway, that was just a tip that I thought... That way you don't have to get a pipe wrench on this and collapse this tubing because this tubing's just, I don't know what it is, but it's, I'm sure it's not that thick. Anyway. Okay, so I got this apart. This was over here. And I'm going to clean up the uh, threads on this with some uh, a wire brush. And then I'm going to put some pipe dope on it. I'm going to clean that. looks like got a little burrs in there. I'm going to clean all that out and then um, I'll mount it. I'll put some pipe dope on it so that it'll seal it from the gas. So and then we'll put it back on, put it on the new one and then we'll be ready to reinstall and start her up. Let's look. Here's uh okay I got this cleaned off with the wire brush. I'm getting ready to put the pipe dope on it. But I went ahead while I was over here and I looked at these uh these say they're 43. I think they have different orifices depending on the how much gas they want to go through there. But I went ahead and blew those out while I was here. Not that it's uh, there. None of them were dirty, but you know while I had it already out. Might as well blow on it and blow those. Uh, I just put a uh, little air on each one of these and blew them all out. I didn't find anything, but. Anyway, here's the end of the pipe. I'm getting ready to put the pipe dope on, put the new uh, regulator on there, and, or the new, yeah, the, the gas valve, solenoid. So anyway, let me go ahead. Okay, I've got the new gas valve in. It's all hooked back up. Everything's got pipe dope here. Just a, a point out that, of course, they always like you to have a steel nipple going all the way out instead of having your flex line going in here to hook on because uh, if there's any rubbing going on here it won't rub through your flex line and 
uh, cause you a huge gas leak. So here's the old one. The only thing I can see different, the numbers all match up pretty much the same. The only thing I noticed was the switch. This, uh, let me put it right here. This switch right here is a little bit different, just the on and off switch. But, uh, you know, you leave it on, you never mess with it. So I guess that's the only thing. And the vent was a little bit different. This little vent uh, right here. This one's just got a little different thing on it. But anyway, they both look the same. So I'm getting ready to turn the gas back on and turn it on and see if we uh, solve the problem. Okay, looks like we're back in business. So we've got uh, the unit came back on. Everything's going good, so all we gotta do is put everything back together. We're back in business and we're in good shape here. There's the the fan came on, the blower came on. So Everything's in good shape. I'm going to take the old uh, gas valve apart and see why it uh, why it uh, locked out. So, anyway, there it is. So anyway, have a have a blessed day. Uh, stay tuned for some of my more more videos coming up. This was just a little quick one. I guess I was able to do this in less than probably. 30 to 45 minutes, not more than an hour. So less than an hour it took to get this thing going back into, into the good shape. So there you go. Have a blessed day.